wonder if this is everybody, anybody's worst nightmare. Like, have you guys broken up over the prenup? Like, you're in love, you I'm get sure. engaged or whatever, and then the idea of a prenup comes up, and you both feel so strongly about it that neither one is given, and that's a very difficult thing to compromise on. And your relationship was gone after that. It happened to any one of you guys? Because that's this guy's worst fear. I'll read his email in a second. one eight five five Bircha. It was a storyline on Real Housewives of Atlanta when Candy was about to get married. Um, and they were going, I mean, she obviously worth a lot of money mm-hmm. and her mom really wanted her and Todd, need the, she and Todd needed to handle the prenup and it literally got handled, I think, like minutes before she walked down the aisle. Huh. Uh, I'll tell you how Tiffany and I are handling it here in a second, but uh, that's my fiance. Bird Show. Not trying to be nosy, but uh, I'm terrified to bring this up with my girlfriend. (laughs) We've been dating for three years. I love her, and I'm so close to proposing. But I'm also a very successful businessman. Uh, I have my hands at a whole bunch of things. By any definition, I'd be considered financially successful. She, however, is in a much different situation. While she, too, is a business owner... Her business has not taken off like mine, and our bank accounts are very lopsided. But I feel strongly about this. I do love her, but I am also very protective of what I've earned. I have no problem sharing it with her, but I don't want to lose half of what I've earned my whole life. Can you help me? Because I really want to talk to her about it tonight. 1-855-BIRDSHOW. Yeah, that that would be a terrifying... uh, conversation you you don't talk about it until you're engaged well, he's doing it the other way yeah right? why would you even bring it up why would you have it now if you're not even engaged that might not because i'd be happen. looking at him like i'm still just your girlfriend exactly mm-hmm. i don't know why you're sitting here talking prenup when you haven't even bothered to put a ring on my finger who okay. said i wanted to marry you yeah right <laughs> <laughs> it could go like this hey will you marry me yes of course okay, okay. now we got something to talk about exactly <laughs> i mean i might let it breathe at least five minutes <laughs> so tiffany and i talked about this before we were engaged oh you did yes yeah, she brought it up actually um, and we will have a prenup. Yeah. So my situation is just a <laughs> You had to think about that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I did. Because I, I, yes, I did. It's early and I'm still It's okay. Fine. Monday. It's okay. Sorry, um, <laughs> so even before we got engaged, um, she brought it up and she was just like, I want to let you know if our future holds you and I being married that, um, I don't want anything you got. You've earned it, so it's all good. And she and I are in a very different place in life, man. Um, I was doing pretty well for myself. Uh, Then I generously gave 50% of everything to my Uh ex-wife because that's how I am. (laughs) Such a a giver. It was a a court's suggestion, but I took him on it. Okay. Uh, (laughs) So I really had to build up a lot the last six years and had to do it very quickly, especially with my eye on wanting to travel when Burt Show is over for me. I mean, I've got real dreams, and I have been really busting my ass with a very tight schedule in a lot of cases to do that. And she sees that. Mm-hmm. So she was the one that suggested, like, look, you've built this up because I, I really I couldn't financially sustain another 50 percent split. I really couldn't. And I think she knew that. And we talked about it initially. And then after we got engaged, I brought it back up. And I'm like, you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that thing? You still feel the same way about it? <laughs> and she said she did. So it, it was easy for me. However, had she said, eh, let me think about it. We would have had problems. Yeah. And it makes sense because you guys have been together how long? Five years now. Okay. So Bart and I together 15 years. So he was there before I got my first gig on morning radio. So he's been there through the entirety of my career. There was never a conversation about prenup because I wasn't going to do one. Mm -hmm. Like he's, he's helped me become the woman I am. Um, in life and career, so I'd if anything were to happen between the two of us, I'd be more than happy to split my wealth with him. I'm a little bit more practical Our when wealth. it comes. Yeah, I'm a little bit more practical now when it comes to romance and marriage. I've been through it. I got divorced. I'm a little older now, and part of it really is business. I hate to say that, but I look at it kind of practically. You know, mm-hmm. um, things happen in relationships. You don't want them to. And you try to safeguard against that as much as possible. But I'm also very practical now also. And I've worked hard. Yeah, you have. Really hard <laughs> <laughs> to make up what I lost some years ago. Melissa, good morning. Hey, good morning. I'm like you, Bert. I'm just a practical person. And I feel like the last person, I think um, I have my radio down a little bit. Yeah. Um, and when, you know, he said that he had been in a relationship for three years, I feel like, 
money and, you know, do you think communication should have came up um, about, you know, communication and, and money and expenses? I mean, maybe not the word prenup because, you know, you don't want to jump the gun if you're not engaged. But I feel like those things come up when you're in a relationship, like the what if mm-hmm. and if a relationship is going good. And I'm like you, it's a business transaction. Um, in a sense, you know, you talk about like, what's it going to be like if we were to live together? I feel like if you haven't had those type of conversations, maybe you're not quite ready to be engaged yet because those are conversations I think you should definitely kind of tiptoe or dabble around before engagement comes up. And that's my opinion. Agreed. Thank you for calling. I absolutely hate talking finances and I hate talking budget period. Same. And that's why I had anxiety around it. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't like to talk business with my business manager. <laughs> I hate, I, I hate the financial part of yeah. this whole thing. I don't like talking money either. I yeah. really don't. It's always uncomfortable. David, good morning. Prenup or no prenup? Definitely a prenup. Yeah. You have to understand, you know, like, like she said, like you said, it is a business transaction. And if somebody's not going to be willing to uh, honor that if they don't want to be, you know, part of your struggle, they don't definitely don't get to be a part of your success. Yeah, and it is a difficult. Um, I mean, I understand the nerves behind it. It's really not a difficult conversation. It sounds like he is almost in the same situation I am with Tiffany. She's just now starting a business, also, but I'm very well um, established already financially. But like the last caller said, or the one before that. These are the things you got to be able to talk about if you're going to spend the rest of your life together. It's no easy way to do it, man. Uh-uh. It's a hard conversation to have. You just got to do it. Because some will take it so personally, like, so you don't think we're going to make it, huh? Yeah. yeah. So that's what that means? We're not going to make it? Be like, have you looked at the stats? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Bird Show.